You are listening to Russell Brand live on Talk Sport. Live, don't be ridiculous, it's recorded. We're in Manchester and it's going to be a fantastic show. With me as always is my co-host, Mr Matt Morgan. Hello Matt, how are you? I'm very well, hello Russell. Charges over fake cop claim. This is Manchester News. A man has been charged with impersonating a police officer. Wayne Dawes, 40, of Fields Crescent, Hollingworth Hyde, was charged with two offences of impersonating a police officer, possessing an offensive weapon and theft of a police uniform. He is due before Manchester magistrates on November the 4th. Seems like a relatively well put together crime. That is Why impersonated one. He, what was his. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's done what did anything. He get from it? Yeah, what did he gain status. from it? Excuse me! A of status. I'm a police officer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, carry on then. <laughs> Do you want to know the time? <laughs> what, is it illegal to dress as a policeman in public? Yeah, but like me, when I've done films, right, say there's an extra dressed as a doctor, right, say there's a scene, right, in the film Arthur, what I just finished, there's a scene set in a hospital, right, and yeah. like, when there's someone dressed as patients, I look at them and think, oh, you look poorly and vulnerable, you don't touch me. <laughs> then I see one as a doctor, I go, oh, seven years of education, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> I'm really influenced by what they wear. Right. Well, that's the potency of uniform for you. That's the power of it. That's the power of a uniform they right there, Noel. They said that about the Nazis, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> they did say that. It was a very, very effective costume. And if only they'd left it at that, they'd have been the snappiest dresses <laughs> in history. <laughs> do you know what he did? That Hugo Boss designed that all that gear, didn't he? That's Hugo amazing. Boss. Yeah. Designed the Nazis outfits. Yes. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how old? Yeah. Like, the thing that's how most fascinating about that is how old is Hugo Boss? <laughs> if he was old enough not, to design he's Nazi he's costumes. He's still living above the shop on Regent Street now. <laughs> he's dead now. Is he? Yeah, he's dead now. Is he English? <laughs> no, he Traitor. must be. You what train? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just popping over to Germany. What, what? Oh, nothing. We've got nothing a big much. contract to come in. <laughs> look, I know you guys are terribly busy with this war, but I've got to just dress up these Nazis. Oh, they look so swish. Well, you'll see them boss. when they march through the streets yeah. of London. I wore his aftershave once. <laughs> yeah, you're part of the problem. I abused. You have been. He didn't do that. That's he did. Look up. Look is that English. aftershave is made no, from Hitler's German. tears. Hugo Boss. That's Hugo Hitler boss. tear aftershave. It's true. I've heard it before. He's obviously German. That's not very German. They're not going to outsource Hugo. Shit, shit like that. Hugo, it's yeah. Italian, isn't it? <laughs> they're, not out, they're not going to outsource if they're thinking, right, we're going to march into Poland, we're going to... We're gonna That's true. Around. We'll have that. No, Where are we going to get the uniforms they from? They would have outsourced oh, it. Yeah, there's a brilliant designer in England <laughs> called Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about the Nazis is they were pretty nationalistic. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so look, let's do fair opportunities. <laughs> we, I know this gay lad, gay Jewish fella. <laughs> <laughs> he's, up for he's, a, he's got a great flair for cloth. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume that Hugo Boss was German.